Hey everybody. I came across this article in Best Life the other day, and I must say I walked away offended. The article lists out the six least affectionate zodiac signs in order, and I have some serious beefs with their conclusions about number one, the one they say is the least affectionate sign. Let's take a look at the article and the signs listed and have a serious discussion about who they say are the least affectionate signs. Number six, Virgo. Because Virgos are notoriously analytical, they can be too in their head to enjoy affection. While they're busy spreadsheeting the situation or trying to fix it, they can lose track of conveying an emotional understanding or affectionate response. Instead of showing love, they're more focused on offering solutions to the problem. Virgos quietly make their feelings known by doing things for the person they have feelings for, even when they don't verbalize it. Their obvious acts and willingness to sacrifice for those they hold close shows how, despite difficulties, they're more than willing to show love in their own ways. Number five, Gemini. Although Gemini isn't exactly averse to affection, their way of showing it isn't usually through touch. For Gemini, affection is equal to horsing around and having fun through jokes, games, and even idle chat. Don't expect them to say sweet words. They would rather deliver gut-punching jokes and witty one-liners that may not seem romantic on the surface. But not to worry, they usually reveal their affection towards someone in a comedic and subtle manner. Number four, Scorpio. While most people show affection by kissing, hugging, and being playful, Scorpios show affection by looking you dead in the eye and asking, what's wrong? Instead of bonding through affection, they bond through pain. Scorpios can be quite calculating and tough, which could lead to them seeming insensitive. They can be tough to crack. Number three, Aquarius. Aquarians are often very detached and uncomfortable with demonstrations of affection. If they want physical affection, it must be on their terms. They often don't notice others' distress or discomfort and have to work at understanding emotional responses. While Aquarians aren't necessarily affectionate, they show their love in other ways. It may not seem obvious, but their definition of affection is being supportive of their significant other. They'll hype their partner up and give them the motivation they need. Number two, Sagittarius. Sagittarius can be generous, but they are most interested in themselves. The sign is more focused on having adventures than keeping solid friendships. This attitude can easily transfer over to their romantic relationships because they have a hard time committing. Thus, the thought of being affectionate might not even cross their minds. And finally, number one, Capricorn. Capricorns are all about work and building wealth. Because of their single focus on the future, showing affection to those around them is not a priority. That doesn't mean they're bad friends or significant others, though. They're the friend who bails you out of jail without asking any questions, but never expresses any affection. And while Capricorns can be tender, they're formal and practical, which leads to demonstrating love and affection in ways that might not feel particularly emotional or sweet. Now, as a Capricorn, I just have to say lies, all lies. Obviously, articles like these are meant to be taken tongue in cheek and not meant to be taken seriously. But the lies, though, on behalf of Capricorns everywhere, I'm offended. I'm one of the most loving, kind-hearted, sweetest people you'd ever meet. You'd just never know it. Damn, I guess that's what the article is trying to say, huh? <laughs> Listen. We Capricorns have a lot of work to do, okay? We start and end the years, we host the biggest holiday seasons, we solve world problems, and we keep all the other zodiac signs in line. Does that sound like someone who has time to be warm and fuzzy all day? I didn't think so. So what do you guys think? Do you agree with their assessment? Did they leave any signs out? And if you are one of these six, what do you think about what they said about you? Let me know in the comment section down below and thanks for watching.